good morning guys welcome to what i think will be my final vlog for march and i am greeting you today from the breakfast nook i newly sort of curated this just taking um an old carafe that i wasn't using so it's like supposed to be for like water and stuff but i really like it as a vase and these roses in these autumnal slash late spring colors or late summer colors and i'm just gonna have my coffee this is instant coffee and i'm not having too much of it This is now one of my favorite organizational habits. It is an Eisenhower matrix sort of quadrant. And I'll show you how to draw sort of a, draw four squares, if you will, on a page. This that I'm saying is from a book called The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Mm. So at the very top is in one of the quadrants, you write urgent. And important and then not urgent but no, not buttons and important so these are things that I could get a handle on doing now um, these are things I must do now so drafting that needs to be sent out invoices that needs to be sent out um, grocery shopping so that I can get a handle on my meal plan and I don't only get on the wagon on Wednesday which is what sometimes happens when I leave my food shop too late in the week to do um, things like that things I must urgently send out emails that I said I must send out check-ins on matters that I need to do and then not urgent but important these are you know if I need to start printing out something that I need to start drafting next week if I need to start reading for something that I need to be discussing next week, perhaps a consultation or anything, it's not urgent right now, but it's something that's very, very important. And then the last quadrant, or the last two quadrants, it is not important and urgent. And then finally, And these are just things like follow-up calls that nothing turns on whether you know nothing turns on it if you don't do them but it helps if you do so then I'll okay just... this is just what i'm wearing quickly this is a black racerback top it's from sportsman's warehouse i got it at the sale in january this is a primark lightweight parka these tights are the three quarter uh tights from body by cotton on i think i'm in the size extra large or large and then these sneakers are, these trainers are Axis Essex. And then my cap is from Primark. It is a cream cap with the letter L on it. And we're ready to go. Okay guys, let me just quickly do my hair and skincare and makeup using my March favorites. Just finished showering, I'm going to just now style my hair and then show you how I'm using these products that I'm claiming are my favorite products. My favorite shampoo slash cleanser, this is the Auntie Jackie's Cocoa Wash, it's a coconut milk conditioning cleanser, thoroughly cleanses, mega conditions, softens dry brittle hair my hair was quite dry from quite a lot of heat that i did with all the hairstyles in the summer and all the hairstyles on holiday so uh this was quite restorative and 
I swear by this anytime. It also really detangles. Used up my Woolies uh, W Beauty Vanilla Patchouli Refining Body Polish Scrub. And I absolutely love this stuff. As you can see, I've gone through so many tubs already. And then I love shower oils. As you can see, I'm running low on this shower oil. So I already got my hands on a replacement. Um, but I love this shower. Self-care days. I love this Ruby Grapefruit Cream Bath Oil. It smells so good and it goes so well with this other Jo Malone fragrance that I have. And I absolutely love it in the hot, hot water. Your skin is so soft afterwards, lotion. trust me. I swear by this Shea Butter and Honey Body Lotion from Woolworths. I'm absolutely out of this one. And this is one of many that I've used up and I am almost done with the other one. face. This is my favorite repurchase. I got it off of Cult Beauty. It's the Fresh Beauty rose de uh, deep hydration face cream and i originally got it in the 30 milliliters and i was through with that tub within i don't know a month of it getting here so i made sure to get the huge one absolutely amazing and is so hydrating to my skin especially when i put it on at night after all those masks oh in gosh. this little carrier which is an old plant pot i've just got all my hair care favorites for march and I'm just going to show you. This month's absolute fave is this curl enhancing smoothie from Shea Moisture. As you can see, I'm literally at the very, very end of it. And then I think if I'm going to go for my absolute favorite Holy Grail product of March, it is this Suki Suki Naturals Miraculous Oil, hair treatment oil for all hair types. You can see a bit of my hair on there, um, but this amber bottle is beautiful and it matches with my autumnal aesthetic but also this was great in the summertime this was great when i went to london in the winter time when my hair was a bit dry because it was so cold and so windy but this was just a superstar so yeah highly highly recommend this it's always sold out so make sure you just get on their mailing list for something and be on the waiting list but it's well worth it especially for our natural hair whenever my hair goes dry and brittle and it's falling out and it's not growing this is what i immediately base my scalp with it is the dr miracles strengthen reinforcer hot growth uh, hair and scalp treatment and it's for healthy hair growth and shine i got my sister onto this product i've got my whole family onto this product there's the nape and temple grow if you're having um, some problems with your edges but i don't have that problem but um, whenever i go crazy with the heat treatment i uh, go in with the dr miracles sometimes just i have a hairstyle that i don't want to take down before i go to sleep and i want to just judge up the following morning i've really been loving this auntie jackie's wake up refresher spray you just spray this on your hair and then you just brush everything into place again and you're good to go. I also like to use it whenever I've been at work all day and I have to go into a meeting quite late in the day just to revive my hair um, and it's not water, so I really like it. I don't use it for my face or my skin. Sorry guys, as you can see my nails, I need to go do my nails, but that's not the current uh, problem. But yeah, so I really like this refreshes. I always get questions about what types of brushes that I use. Uh, I use this pink one to detangle and comb through. I use this uh, white tooth one to detangle as well. The uh, wooden comb is to style and just brush things into place. And I use the fine tooth comb to sometimes just run through my hair and just make sure that there's no deep detangles. Um, and then just to open up a line for styling. So I swear by these combs, I don't know why I'm going. Side, so again, both sides are now done, and then I'm just going to take this side down, and I'm going to then go in with this miraculous oil from Suki Suki Naturals, and I'm going to take quite a big amount of it because I just want my hair to be moisturized, particularly the roots and the ends.
you see that the hair is healthy, it's moisturized, and I want to keep this moisture for tomorrow morning. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it into two pads and put a hair tie over it, a hair scarf, so that it can protect. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do the plait in the hairstyle. This is a time-saving tip for all my natural listas. Um, even if you're gonna do like a ma one one, try and do them in the style that you're gonna have the following day, so that like you're not opening new rolls and you're not stretching the hair in this direction again and things like that. Like here, again, this clip, I'm telling you. And then take this one down. Right. So I've just got my little brown um, wrap. And then you just push it back a little bit, revealing just enough hair that you're comfortable with. And then let's quickly do skin. I guess the final look of what my face looks like dewy simple and then let me just show you what i'm wearing ready so i am just rocking today i'm just hella into these like straight leg jeans my friend lucia gave these to me these are asos jeans i'm just rocking them with some adidas sneakers h&m belt and then this is a this very light parka from primark this top that says we the people we the people from tipo jeans and my tote this tote is from Cotton On and it just says minimalist, something, my dear, I am not. So let's go run our errands. I'm listening to this audiobook by Morgan Housley. Also restocked the red wine vinegar, but I didn't get time to go to this camp, so I still need to go and get more apple cider vinegar. Then I'm just gonna pack away my shopping bags all my stuff is done now um the only things that is missing that are missing are the candles and
oh okay guys i'm about to finally head into my nail appointment after fam these nails are you seeing this really so glad to be finally doing my nails you guys uh, okay so now we look presentable look at this the color is called scandalous by sorbet nails love it here's a closer look i really like keeping my nails this length but i also enjoy them when they're longer but because i have a lot of typing and stuff to do i quite like it vlog here is I am at my chambers now I have done most of the stuff that was on my Eisenhower matrix and I'm just getting some admin done now it's the afternoon it's about 11 minutes past four and then I think I'm gonna go home at uh, five or half past five but yeah I hope that you've enjoyed this vlog my next vlogs are basically the books that changed my life so please do make sure that you are subscribed if you're not already subscribed because I feel like that will be really really helpful for people i'm going to do a four part series and i'm going to upload four uh, vlogs are going to basically chat you through all of the points that i gleaned from each book and how that helped me as a student how that helps me now how it helps me achieve a work-life balance etc yeah, i'd love to hear your comments on this style of vlog what you think of it because i'm hoping to do it monthly um, but yeah let me know what you enjoyed the most about this vlogs in the comments and i will see you in my next one bye guys